Furthermore, who doesn't like borders? Eh? Some fresh herbs at the end of the lane? Yeah. Isn't that right, civil servant? Uh, yes, Minister. There we go. Now, the common travel area, as we currently have it between the UK and Ireland, is not under threat whatsoever by us leaving the EU. No rights will be affected, nothing will change, no harm, no foul. Yes. Now, the, the problem with the common travel area is that it's an assumed set of reciprocal freedoms between the citizens of UK and Ireland, which allows them to live, work, travel, receive health and other types of support. Yes. Now, I'm, uh, I'm not worried at all that this assumed set of freedoms aren't, aren't actually written down as such. No. Um, I mean, <laughs> what <Minister>. Egypt <laughs> would want to mess with the common travel area or the border or, you know, the Black Friday agreement, you know? Yes. What, what are you doing over there? Well, it's new directors from Westminster. Their CTA is changing. Oh, oh, well, forward it to my technological yeah. solution. <laughs> there we go. Ah. Oh, right. Um, okay, well, there you go. That's this is the new common travel area. There you go. We can see a little change there. More, no. more here, Minister. R right, right. Oh, um, right. <laughs> there, we, there we go. There we go. So here is the new common travel area um, of where uh, it will be. Um, more. More. Here, Minister. Yeah. More, right. Right. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, right. There you, there you go. This is the uh, this is the new. Co this is ridiculous. The, what what are they doing? Yes. What do they think this nonsense is? I mean, they must have redrafted it after that meeting they had with the DUP. I mean, what? Never check your emails again. That way lies pain. I mean, what a what a bunch of. This is absolutely absurd. What do they think they're doing? Just messing around with it. What if you bring cheese? That's ridiculous. You can't have access to an area of a country based on whether you brought dairy products with you or not. What if you're dairy intolerant? Yes? Can you bring almonds? As the minister continues to present her presentation to the herpes, we took a second to chat to the civil servant about the common travel area. See, it's not just the impact on UK citizens travelling to relatively close countries, it's about trading for amenities. I mean, getting the right to food, water, Medicare at an affordable price. And that's not mentioning all these people who are having to flee their native countries due to extreme circumstances. I don't think she realises the impact that a change on human rights has. With Brexit only a few hours away, we took the opportunity to talk to people on the street to find out what they thought about Brexit and their human rights. So, we're just going to ride off into the sunset before the whole f up. Yeah, yeah, we're going to get a car uh, with all the money we've been saving and just spin it down to Mexico. Um, yeah, we've got a, a bed sit in Ballymun. And we're going to stock up on dairy milk and tato and sell enough to make enough money for Junction 1 for Christmas. Yep, yep. And then we're going to set up, you know, around Temple Bar because there's much more punters there. And the medical's better and we don't have Arlene shouting at us whenever she drives past. And we don't have to go to the toilet in one big bowl. Minister and the other herpes are celebrating Brexit's arrival day. 15 minutes to Brexit. Oh, well, actually, I'm rather excited. It's a brave new world and we are the final frontier. Persons. Well, much like the horrible conditions in most of Europe, it's been a long and tough road, full of bumps and people expecting foreign models to be better adapted to their needs. But without stretching a metaphor too far, and without the want to reduce our efforts to naught but a soundbite, we are there! Yes! <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Now, a uh, civil servant has prepared a speech that he wrote all by himself. <laughs> civil servant? Yeah. Of course. <clears throat> Thankfully, our fortuitous and ever-prepared minister, <laughs> who knows the mind of both those in power and of those in Bournemouth, had us apply for Irish passports while we still have the right.
Scrap that. Dual nationality is out.